Okay, let's go over it. Now, he came in through your balcony window. He used a traditional glass cutter. Then, when he got in, he bumped his foot on mm -hmm. that's right he bumped his foot on the decorative chair that you keep near the balcony that's right now after he came in, you notice that he had something in his hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so you, no, no, you, you can't tell them that. No, no, I'm sorry, you can't tell them that because it sounds incredibly suspicious, that's why. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh. Let's try this again, all right? All right. So, he came in through your balcony window. Mm-hmm. Well, your apartment is on the second floor, so it's not as though he had to put in a ton of effort. Came in through your balcony window, traditional glass cutter, okay. It was dark. He took a couple of steps forward and he bumped his foot on the small decorative chair that you keep near the balcony window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. You noticed something shiny in his hand. It could have been some sort of weapon so you, mm -hmm. yes, exactly, exactly. You quickly reached for the canister of pepper spray that you normally keep on your nightstand. The moon was behind him, you were able to see his silhouette, and you blasted him in the face with, oh, you almost had it. You almost had it. No, no, no. You cannot say you blasted him in the face with your venom. No, no. Because human women don't have poison sacks in their throats. Now, thankfully for you, your poison venom resembles ordinary pepper spray, only a little more intense. So, we're going to try this again. Well, I'm sorry, but we have to take it from the top because you have to get this right. Well, I'm sorry. 
Well, no. We couldn't do this at my place or your place. We have to do this in the interrogation room at this police station. Now, as I said before, the video camera is switched off. The recorder is switched off. It's just you and I. So let's take this from the top. All right. He came in through your balcony window. He was there because Okay, no, no, you, you can't say that, because if you say that, they're going to suspect that you're actually not an ordinary young woman, but that you're actually a supernatural creature. And then the government is going to come in, they're going to extract you from my custody and then they're going to do most likely horrible experiments on you until you expire possibly years from now and we don't want that do we no no you cannot tell anyone that this individual was an enforcer from that vigilante group coming to, as we say nowadays, unalive you, okay? So, let's do this again. The burglar came in through your second floor balcony. He used a traditional glass cutter. Well, yes, I know. That's not how traditional glass cutters work. They work on a flat surface. Well, yes, I know. Okay, let's try this again. He came in through your balcony. The burglar, your second floor balcony. He used a traditional glass cutter. He was silent. He was quiet. He walked in. He bumped his foot on the decorative chair that you keep near the balcony. You looked up, having turned your head, and you saw his silhouette because the full moon was behind him. You were afraid for your life. You were afraid that this burglar was going to physically hurt you or physically take advantage of you. I, okay, yes, I know, I know. Yes, the fact that you are physically stronger than 10 large, heavy men put together, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to pretend to be as weak as a kitten. Well, in fairness, you're very skinny, you're young, and... Appearance-wise, you look as though you would be no match for a male child. 
like a small little boy could beat you up if he wanted to. And honestly, you have to pretend to be extremely weak. And it would be best if you cried during the official interview regarding how scared you were for your physical well-being. Okay? Okay, good. Good. Yes, I'm sorry, mistress, but this is how it has to be. Well, the alternative is you get carted off by the government and I never see you again. And you never see me. So please, mistress, trust me on this. I've been a police detective for five years. I know how these things work. With respect, you do not. So, once again, the burglar used a traditional glass cutter. Well, yes, I bought the glass cutter, but we're going to say it was found on the floor of your bedroom. So the burglar is in your bedroom having used the glass cutter. He took a couple of steps forward and his foot hit the small decorative chair that you keep near the balcony. You heard his foot hit the chair you opened your eyes, you looked over cautiously and silhouetted behind the full moon was the tall figure of a big burly man holding something shiny metallic in his right hand. You have no clue what it was. Yes, I've already planted the butcher knife. No worries there, but you didn't know what it was. You were afraid for your life. So you quickly reached over, you grabbed the pepper spray that you keep on your nightstand and you blasted him in the face with, yes, Yes, exactly, the pepper spray. And you kept your finger on the pressure pad of the pepper spray until it was empty. He screamed in pain from the pepper spray, not from the venom that came out of your mouth. He stumbled backwards and then that's right, that's right, he fell over. You did not use any of your tentacles to push him over. You do not have tentacles that completely retract into your body and are unseen. You do not have eyes typically found on a normal snake. You do not have venom sacs concealed in your throat. That's right. That's right. Now, when the analysis is done on his face, it's just going to seem like it was a very strong type of concentrated pepper spray, not venom from your venom sack. I mean, I'll be honest with you, mistress, you are extremely lucky that the two formulas are so similar. You are extremely lucky. And yes, I've already planted the knife, and 
well, obviously, I'm going to say I retrieved this glass cutter from the floor of your bedroom. Okay. Well, no, I bought the glass cutter a decade ago. There's no way they can trace it back to me. Well, um, at the time, I bought a small house, and I needed a glass cutter. I used it pretty much just once and then realized I have no clue what I'm doing, so I hired a contractor. Yes. Well, no, mistress. Um, you can't move into my house. It would look horribly suspicious. As of right now, you're a suspect in the... Well... We have to go through a trial and everything else. You have to be found not guilty. And even after that, it's going to be years before you and I can live together. Well, I wish it wasn't that way, mistress. I do enjoy falling asleep in your lap. It's very warm, very comfortable. And I do enjoy it when you gently wrap your tentacles around me and hold me close. And, okay, I'm starting to lose focus. Mistress, you need to focus, okay? Just the way we talked about it, that is how it occurred. Mistress, this is not a problem. You will show up at the courthouse and simply not display your tentacles. As a supernatural creature, you are very fortunate that you can retract them into your body completely unseen. Now, as for your poison sack glands, you're going to wear a decorative scarf. That should cover up the slits in your neck. And quite frankly, I think it would be a good idea from now on that every time you leave your new apartment, you always wear a fashionable decorative scarf to cover up the three slits on the sides of your neck, the three on each side. You wear a decorative scarf, it just looks like a fashionable decorative scarf, okay? All right. Well, as for your snake-style eyes, just wear those special contact lenses I ordered for you, yes. Well, they make your snake-style eyes look like human eyes, completely human. Just always wear your contact lenses when you walk out in public. Well, yes, mistress, I understand, but this is what you have to do. I mean, honestly, you mostly pass for human. Just... Keep your tentacles retracted inside your body. Wear the contact lenses that I got for you. And wear decorative scarves each and every single time you go out in public. And you will have everyone fooled. I'm sorry, mistress, but we have to do this. You are very fortunate Unfortunately, in this country, supernatural creatures like yourself have no rights compared to human beings, and they get hunted all the time. But you're fortunate that you mostly look like an ordinary woman, and you can pass for one. That's important. Now, I think it would be a good idea if we went over it again from the top. Yes, once again.